States. Now, you and the president had earlier discussed rules of engagement for taking down a hijacked airplane, but you were the one who gave the direct order to shoot down a plane that you were told, as it turns out incorrectly, was headed for Washington. Right. That's correct. What's that moment like? Well, um, it was necessary. And uh, it was a, uh, frankly, I didn't uh, pause to think about it very much because once one of those aircraft became, was hijacked, it was a weapon. Uh, we'd seen already um, by that time three of them go in to the Pentagon and the World Trade Center in New York. As a result, thousands died. And if we had been in a position to intercept one of those to keep it from striking its target, would we have done it? Absolutely. And what I did was pass on the uh, president's uh, approval uh, of the basic proposition that we would, in fact, uh, authorize our people to shoot down aircraft that had been hijacked and uh, refused to divert. So I, I saw it as part of my responsibility, but I, I did it quickly because uh, we had a lot of other things we were doing at the same time. Did you guys hear what Dick Cheney just said? He admits to giving the order to have an airplane shot out of the sky on 9-11 of 2001. After three other planes had hit their intended targets. Two of them being the Twin Towers and the third one being the Pentagon. That only left one plane. That was Flight 93. So Dick Cheney admits, as did Donald Rumsfeld, to having Flight 93 shot out of the sky. Flight 93 did not crash into the field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It left an eight mile long debris field. There was nothing left when it got to Shanksville, Pennsylvania.